Hi everyone, uh, let's continue ZOS Enterprise Computing. Today we will study ISPF editor and then we have a hands on lab. All right, uh, ISPF editor is powerful. You can use this editor to generate a source code, uh, to write a JCL, or, and to do a lot of different tasks, all right? This slide shows the ISPF editor command. For example, I, I means insert. Insert uh, below the current line, okay? Command R followed by a number M. Uh, it will repeat current line for M times. Then copy C, C followed by number, M is a number. It will copy M lines from current line. Then A means append, append uh, below the current line. And then right parenthesis is followed by number. Uh, it means the whole line is shifted right by M characters. M is a number. Left parenthesis is followed by number means shift the whole line to the left by M characters. Then if you press delete key, it will delete a character. And then insert key is a toggle key. You press insert once, it will switch to insert mode. If you press uh, insert key again, it will uh, switch to overwrite mode. From last video, you already noticed I use the F3 key uh, to go back and uh, I use the F7 key uh, go up, F8 key to go down. So this is SPF function key you use this key to navigate uh, from one menu to another menu or, or from uh, or if the file is too long you can use f8 uh, f7 to uh, move down or up okay so these are function keys f1 keys help at any screen if you press f1 it will show the help and then F2 is uh, split, split the menu. Or, and then F3 is exit from the current menu. If you want to exit, it will go to upper level uh, menu. F5 is R, R find, F6 uh, R change, F7 up, F8 down, F9 is left, F10 left, uh, F11 right. For example, if you have a, a very long record, okay, if you want to see the left of record, then you use F10 key. If you want to see the right of record, uh, use F11 key. F12 is cancel. And, and uh, these are ISPF command. Uh, uh, there are many ISPF commands. So here I just list several of them. For details uh, about the ISPF command, you need to look at the ISPF menu. Okay, uh, reset, uh, RES command means reset. Command the COL or COLS, it will display columns. And capital on, it, it will change it to capital. Uh, caps off, it will capital, uh, capital off, or oh, here is a mistake. And then save, it will save the edited data side to disk, save. Submit means submit a job, okay? That's the command uh, we are often use uh, today or in the future. All right, before going to hands-on lab, I'd like to thank these three persons to help make the hands-on lab available.
All right. Uh, my computer is already connected to ZOS, so we can just start from here. Uh, from here. First, I will demonstrate to you ISPF editor. Let's check what file we want to edit. All right, uh, for example, number, uh, we select editing number two, okay. Last video, we generate a PS dataset named test DS. Okay, we have this uh, PF, uh, PS dataset. And then hit enter. Now we can start editing this file. So we can use the RES command to reset uh, those clear. Uh, to clear those warning messages. And then next, we can show use the COL column. Now you can see it shows a column number from left to right to 72 uh, column. And first I can show you R command, R. For example, you just type R, it will just repeat the current line once. If you type, for example, R7, it will repeat the current line for seven times. All right. That's R command, repeat. And uh, delete command. For example, if you just press D, uh, D1, it will uh, delete one line. Okay. If you want to delete uh, multiple line, for example, delete uh, three line, you type D3. And then you, uh, you want to delete uh, four lines here, then you press D4. Uh, oh, by the way, this area is for you to type in the command, this area, okay? So uh, I showed you uh, <coughs> R command, delete command. For example, <coughs> if you want to uh, insert, insert right below this line, right below this line, then what you need to do, you need to use I command, insert. Okay, so uh, the, you can start typing. Uh, we are learning learning how to use uh, ISPF editor, okay? So D means delete, right? Means delete, uh, R command, R means repeat. <coughs> okay, I means, uh, I means insert, I means insert, all right? So uh, after you finish uh, uh, typing, then you can save, okay? You can save, then it will save this to, uh, to a file. And then uh, when you want to continue debugging, uh, editing, for example, now we learn next, we will learn C command. For example, if you just press C, uh, press C, that means you want to copy this line only. Where you want to paste, you want to append below this line. In here, you, uh, in this area, you can type A. So this line, line 110 is uh, copied here. All right, if you want to copy these uh, four lines, then you uh, use C, you want to copy four lines, okay? Copy four lines. To where? Append below this line, then you use A, okay? Now these four lines is paste here. That is uh, copy, uh, copy command. So here we learned C, C means copy. C means copy, okay? 
C followed by a number means uh, copy multiple line, multiple lines. Look at here. I type the lowercase m when I hit enter. This the software will convert it to capital. Okay. If you want to use lowercase, then here for ISPF command, you have to use caps off. Okay. If you turn off, uh, turn caps off, then you can input the lowercase. For example, here continue I, then uh, C followed by a number, then it will copy, it will copy uh, M lines. See here, what you typed is the lowercase, okay? Because the default, caps is on. Caps is on means once you hit enter, it will change uh, to capital and then send it to uh, I, uh, ZOS. All right, so that is the copy command. Um, when you write program, you may need, for example, uh, shift this line to the left of several uh, characters. And then how to do that? You can use this one. You can use uh, shift left or shift right. Let's first uh, consider shift uh, right. Shift right, use the right parenthesis. For example, uh, shift eight uh, column to the right. Okay, so this line is shift eight column to the right. And then for this line, if you want to shift, uh, for example, 16 column to the right, then type uh, right parenthesis 16. So now this line is shifted to uh, 16 column to the right. And that is this command and uh, shift, uh, shift right. So our next is shift left. You can use the left parenthesis uh, followed by a number. Then that means this whole line will be shifted uh, to the left by four uh, characters. Okay. Here you can also do uh, left parenthesis followed by a number, followed by a number, or uh, for example, four. Okay. So basically, uh, we can see here, and uh, that is a shift left, right? Followed by number. Then that means a shift, uh, shift uh, M characters to left, okay? If you use the right parenthesis followed by number, it means a shift, uh, shift, M characters to right. And all right. So after you finish typing, you can you can save. All right. So basically I demonstrate to you uh, D command, R command, copy command, A command, where's A? A means append. A command, I can type A command here. So uh, I showed you A command. A means append. Okay, I showed you how to uh, shift left uh, insert and how to uh, copy, paste, Next, for example, if you want to delete this character, you just press uh, uh, delete key, okay? When you press delete, the rest of the line will be shifted to the left automatically, delete, okay? Now, if you want to insert, then you have to press insert key, then now you can start uh, insert, you can start. Uh, this is to show uh, how insert key, insert key uh, works, okay? Then if you press the insert key again, uh, when, uh, I still insert, uh, I didn't press uh, enter, okay? And once you uh, press enter, that means uh, what you typed is fixed, 
And then now if you press uh, delete key, okay, it will delete characters. Then from here, if you type, so it will override, all right? Hit enter, fix what you typed, and then you can save. And uh, after you save, uh, you can uh, use F3 key uh, to navigate to the ISPF top, F3 key, F3 key. And uh, uh, that's all. Uh, this video, I demonstrate to you how to use the ISPF editor to edit a file. Okay, how to copy, insert, delete, shift. All right, we will use this editor to write a COBOL program.